right, intermediate guitarists, here's part two, which you were here, just the lead itself. Um, the, it's, I'm going to try and keep this short, which means you're going to have to pause it and go back uh, to go through things a, a whole bunch, because it's uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to. In order to really effectively play this solo in the beginning, you need to uh, get yourself very familiar with this sound here, sliding from two to four on the D, sorry, on the G string, then putting your pointer index finger on the third fret and your ring finger on the fifth fret of the B string, the second string. Slide up. If you play around with that a lot, so you know the feeling of sliding and stopping on four and then getting these fingers into position to do five, or three, or three, or five, and keeping that other finger on the four, you'll be ready to do, to take on this lead. Because in this lead, we hear this, we hear this, we hear this, we, we hear that little bit there slide up a lot. It happens more than once. So you have to have that little bit down. Okay, this lead can be put into four parts. Uh, the first two parts are pretty easy. Third part is a little bit more difficult. And then the fourth part is easy because you've already learned the third part. But the first part, we slide up here. It, this happens, this begins, sorry, on right after this note here. So if the person playing rhythm, when, when they hit this second fret right here, oh, sorry, second fret of the D string right here, that note right there, when they hit that note, it's like it's part of a triplet to go one, two, three. One, two, three. That's where it goes. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. And we start off like this. You'll see that in the tab if you look to it. And if you just listen to the song, you'll hear this. You'll hear right away it goes into that slide. Okay, first part. Slide two to four, hit the three on the B string, and then go five, four, three. Slide three, five, four, three. Four, of course, is on the, the G, uh, G string. Slide. And then I, I've got my middle finger still on this fourth fret of the G string. And I go, I, I strike once, and I go four to two to open. And I kind of use my finger to make a little flick there. And I immediately go to an open um, D string down there. And then I slide up to the second fret with my first finger and then two open strings. Pause and get that down pat. Okay, that's the first part. Second part, it starts exactly when that first person part would have started. You, you would have heard this from the rhythm player. And when they hit this, right after that is when you do this. And you, you take your first index finger. I do this all with one finger here. Index finger on the uh, first and second, the E and the B strings. And I slide up to the fifth fret. I hit two strings. So I slide up and then I hit the original position again. So it's one strike to slide up and one strike down. And then I go and I'm going to use, this is how I play it. Uh, you might find you want to play it differently. I play it, I play it with my index finger. This is the second part of the solo and the second part of the second part. I put my index pointer finger onto the second fret of the third G string and I put my 
my ring finger onto the third fret of the B string. I think upon reflection, the reason I do that is because it's really the top of a B, or a D chord. This is a D chord, and I'm just putting, I think that's probably why I instinctively do it like that, because that feels more natural than this, because I don't ever play that very often. I do play that a lot. So anyway, I start like this, slide up, hit, and I do the same thing down here. I'm on the third, the second and third fret, and I slide up to the fourth and fifth fret. And I strike, slide up, go back to the original position. But now I'm gonna play the same two strings open. So I go. The second part to that, so I've gone up, back, open, and I kind of slide back up to that fourth and fifth again, and I uh, finish by going to the fourth and fifth of the strings right below it, right here. So this is This is the fifth fret of the D string and the fourth fret of the G string. Sorry, this is a hard one to pick apart slowly because I do it so naturally, but I go. Take a look at that tab there. I'm going to try and walk through that one more time slowly. So I go slide back, open, slide back, open, down to the fourth and fifth of the last position. So here's what I've got in total. Okay, two parts. Believe it or not, those are the easier parts there. I, I don't know why, but I find this third part is always uh, the one that people get stuck on. It starts very similar to the other ones. I slide up here to the fourth fret, and this time I go slide, three, four, five, bend on five, three, four, three, two. Three, four, three, two. And then I go back and do a bend. Uh, and that was a four, three, five, four, two. I am right now looking on the second page of tab, bars two and three, I guess. Slide, three, four, five. That is the hardest part of all, because it's pretty fast and you really have to hear it. This, this slide. The fourth part, so that was the third part, which was the first two bars on page two. The fourth part is slide, three, four, five. It sounds very similar. Slide, three, four, five, then that fifth fret again, and then I'm gonna go five, three, five, two. And then I just finish it nice and simple. Two, four, two. This is the fourth part. Sorry. And then it will be get back into the strumming. So 
Okay, so we'll put that all together, see if I can play without messing it up too much here. Um, it's uh, the kind of thing, put the song on, play along with it, and you'll realize how slow it is. I'm playing it pretty fast right now because I'm trying to keep this video less than a million minutes. Uh, but you will, when you hear it, you'll hear it's... timing in there is, uh, you know, certainly don't play the album track against what I just did, but you uh, will be able to figure out that timing if you're playing along with the track. A lot to take in there. Sorry, you're going to have to pause that a lot and go back. I was going pretty fast. This is the kind of song in class we would have taken a little time with and uh, lots of time to go through each part once a day kind of thing until we get all four together. And uh, I strongly recommend using a pick here and give it a crack, see what you can come up with. I tell you, it's a great little thing. If somebody else is going like this, and you're able to... Quite nice to play along with. Okay, uh, enjoy. Message me on SB if you have any questions. I'm happy to try and help, and we'll figure it out from there. Doing a great job. Keep up the good work.